Yeah, hey everyone, Brian with you from the Game Cabin, and we are continuing with our campaign of Old World. We're playing as Greece. We got our three cities. About to finish our ambition uh, here in this episode, because let's see, you got two years left. Yeah, we're close. All right, choose production in Sparta. All right, so we are level one in discontent, so I think it's probably time to run a festival, which gives us one culture per year. The Olympiad basically gives us extra military, which we don't need. And then this gives us extra civic stuff and money, too. Dang, that's really good. That's really good. We could also build more military units, but nah. Nah, go ahead and do festival right now. I think that's the most uh, needed thing. And then you're just going to keep growing. What's your pop at one year? The other option, too, is we could go ahead, put a specialist here. What's he going to do? He's going to give us one science, one culture, and ten gold. That's extra stone. I mean, that extra 10 gold, dude. I I can't pass that up. That's too good right now. Our gold is ridiculous, which is interesting because that means we can technically or possibly here buy ourselves what we need for the lighthouse. 1400. We will have enough next turn. Are we going to do it next turn? Man, I kind of want to. I kind of want to. So we are now scarred from combat. Oh, interesting. Which is not a bad thing, because it just gives us plus courage. All right. Suck it. And now we kill you. And now you're dead. And we good to go over here now. Like it. Like it. All right, cool. So we're ready to put you over here. Uh, I will go ahead and explore over here. There's actually more land over here. Okay. Interesting. So now the question is, are we ready to build the Great Lighthouse? It requires coast. Now, the thing is, I'm pretty sure the harbor is going to go right here. I almost feel like we should put it out here so it's kind of like as we go into the city. That's not coast. Uh, what? So we need three total orders to actually start this wonder. I understand. Okay. So then in that case, we're just going to skip and leave you alone for now. Reasoning being, like, I could use it, but I would rather just use the uh, uh, the actions just to go explore. And then just build it right away next year. There is gold over here. There's gold in the hills. We would very much like to get to this gold. Please tell me there's a city center somewhere around here. It doesn't appear to be so. Here's the other thing. Okay, you're still building. Five years? What the heck are you building here, man? Dude, that shrine takes forever. Oi. I didn't realize how slow the shrines are, and then you guys are all busy, too. And you got three years there on the granary. Okay. All right. Well, citizen defense. Eager citizens come forward wishing to help support city's defense. They have the will. All they need is direction. So we can gain walls in Corinth for 40 stone or emergency training drills. Skirt, give me walls. All right. That's what walls look like. Uh, all right. I'm going to be honest. The game's pretty... That is not. I hope that's placeholder because the game's early access. Because that looks kind of... <laughs> not the prettiest. Not the prettiest. I know we're trying to save stone. Whatever. Whatever. I think free walls is worth it. Especially since we don't have... Dang it. Uh, okay. Minister turns your daughter. We gain plus one discipline. Uh, especially since we don't have the tech for it. So I got to run you away. Just so you don't die. And there is a city site here. So this might be where we want to go next. Although I have to be honest, we're going to have to road over here, I think. The thing is, I mean, we still have potential up here too. Okay, so settlers here. I would like to come over here. The question is, where would we like to go? I think we wanted to go. We want to be on the river. This is on the river. That, I think, is our best option then. Because it's getting the deer up there. Okay. 
This is going to consume one. I want to get my wonder started. So let's do this then. And I still can't build it here, right? It has to go on the coast. I just find that weird. You think this is going to get a boost from the Great Lighthouse? Yeah. It's just weird because this says coast. Water coast clear. Lush flat trees. I mean, it makes sense that you want the light. So what about putting the lighthouse all the way down here then? I mean, like here would be ideal. But I can't actually put this inside our territory yet. Because I don't have colonization. Instead, I think we do. Well, okay, we have two options. Wait, why can't I do it here? Oh, I need four. That's why I can only do it here. Eh, skirt, we'll do it here. Because it takes one to, or three to remove the trees and then one to build. All right, so we began construction of the lighthouse. That took up all of our orders. That's fine. Is that going to be worth it when it's done? I think so. I think so. Uh, how do I search? There's no search. Oh, that kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, uh, there's no wonder button either. Eek. Would it be under improvements? All right, so the easiest thing to do then is just to go back. <laughs> so the lighthouse. Is this the great lighthouse or is this just the lighthouse? I'm assuming this is the great lighthouse. Six culture per year, two gold per population. Is that only in the city? This is what I don't know. If that's only in the city, that's not particularly great since we only have like one population. Um, but then coastal cities give an extra 50% production. Uh, let's hold up. How much are my coastal cities getting? So right now, uh, Athens is making us 35. So another 50% of that would be another 17, which is pretty good. And then we'll have another one right there as well. So yeah, yeah. I mean, this is definitely going to be worth it, I think, for us. Okay. Choose production, Corinth. I almost... I mean, A, we could build slingers because we don't have melee units. B, you're at level 1, so getting a festival here is probably not a bad idea. See, we could grab a slinger. Let's do slinger into festival. We could also grab a farmer specialist. Eh. For extra food, but our food's fine. Air education. Okay, Duchess. How are we going to train her? Um, I kind of feel like more science. Nah, let's make her commerce. We're, we're, getting, we're getting some decent potential on money so i think making her a commerce governor would be great so babylonian are offering trade they we will trade iron for wise counsel we are going to trade 14 iron for four years for 40 years they're going to give us one order and they're going to like us and we're also going to spend 190 gold we could do this for All right, well, we're going to do the iron for uh, extra orders. The downside is obviously we're not making any extra iron right now, but that is going to switch up. You're doing a mine, so yeah, we should be fine on that. We'll actually be making iron here in a second. Um, I'm okay with that. Uh, also, I can always just buy iron because we have the money. And an extra uh, order seems great, and having them friendly with us I think is also fine. Stop chasing me, punk! We're now severely ill. Oh, no. We might die. How old are we? We're 60. Dang. Okay. That's fine. You should be hidden because you're in the forest. Either way, you're far enough away. I'm not super concerned about it. We have another warrior here. Weren't we going to add Alexander here? Yes, we were. So Alexander's now here. We're going to go send him up to kill the barbarians. Um, do I need to remove him from this? I, I, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. So the question is, what city are we going to find here?
How is the Argid actually hate us? Why do they hate us? From their disloyalty, they're also missing wine, and they have we have the smallest military. Oh, they have the smallest military family. Ah, so we want to build more uh, uh, military from them in their city. Okay, I understand. Uh, I'm not going to add more, though. Mines and lumber mills get the output. The mines aren't going to help. Lumber mills, maybe. The seed ships, potentially. I think we're going to go seclude, though. Seclude. Which is going to be the same as those guys. Because... Passively is just gonna give us the best right now, I think. So there's our ambition. We completed four. This is Thebes. Okay, let's go ahead and heal you up. Okay. You are our first our, our other general over here. Um, I would like to keep building though. So we are making iron even with the trade, which is rather interesting. Uh, okay, you want a mine versus a quarry. Let's pop over here real quick. Let's see what the mine is. The mine's gonna be 8.5. The quarry is gonna be nine and five. How's our stone? Stone's at 26. Iron's a little worse. So I think I'm going to do a mine then. Yeah, I think we're going to do another mine. We still have four orders left. But we have a lot of decisions. King Philip, General the Warrior is too old and is retired. Oh, all right. I don't have a new general to put in. These guys are a little higher level, but Alexander's close. So I'm going to keep Alexander where he's at. Uh, Harvest gives us extra food. Right now, I'm not going to worry about you. Next decision is our next research. I think we're going to do navigation. I want that harbor now. Yep. Yep. Air education. Nikas. That is going to be our grandkid, correct? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we did her in money, correct? Yeah, we did her in money. I think we're going to do tactics with him. Because I think he's going to carry on the Alexander name in combat. Even though Alexander is literally yet to fight. <laughs> so a royal tutor, Persis the minister, wishes to record teachings for posterity. They would take the form of relatable stories meant to impart valuable lessons. He calls the project wisdom literature. Is it wise use of our scribes or should he focus on other matters? So if we say yes, he gets plus 60 opinion and we get 60 uh, civics. Or we say no. The Sipsalids who like us like us more and he hates us. I'm going to say he did by all. Yeah, it's not really that big of a negative. All right, so we still have some more idle units. Military that's idle is you. I think I will start moving you over. Ah, see, I'd rather get the XP with Alexander. I will move you there. And then we're just going to chill. We do have idle citizen. Oh, idle city. Gotcha. Uh, what then do we want to do over here? Probably grab a worker. Because we don't have an extra worker right now. And we're going to want to build military units here, which we're doing. And probably exclusively start building military units out of there. And then eventually, I guess we're going to go for the Gauls. Honestly, the Scythians might be our better option, though. Because they're right on the coast. So you're connected, correct? Yep. And then you're connected. Yep. Okay. So we're good there. Uh, let's see who else we have to move. Um, who I want to move is probably this guy still. I just can't get away from these barbarians now. <laughs> so you might take some more damage, but you're going to go grab that. Hopefully he runs away and we don't take any damage. But all right. So we're getting older. We're severely ill. The end is here. Time to get your affairs in order. All right. I guess we're going to die. Deadly drink. You're awakened in the middle of the night with tragic news. The body of your daughter was found in the street outside a popular banquet hall. The doctor believes he died from an overabundance. Wait, what? He? Overabundance of drink. Your daughter question mark. Yeah, Haydna. So definitely still some early access stuff. Uh, Haydna was charming, affable personality. You wish to pay her tribute. Oh, that sucks, man. She just turned 18 too. So we lose one discipline, one wisdom. So we lost a little science from her. So she would want the people to make merry. Athens loses discontent. We become mourning. All cities, negative 10%. 
Oh, negative 10% orders. Ugh. But plus four charisma, which is extra. Yeah. Or she'd want a day of reflection. 70 culture, we get morning. And then charisma. So, okay, it's rather, would we rather have discontent or would we rather have the extra orders? I think I'd rather have discontent. I don't think we can actually pass laws right now anyways. Yeah, I don't, we don't have the tech. And Athens was level two, I think. Not level one, but it'll keep it from getting to level two. So, be merry. Everyone get drunk, <laughs> basically. Well, that sucks. So our daughter dies and we're about to die. Alexander... Mm, I'm watching you, buddy. I'm watching you, buddy. You think he has something to do with it? Possibly. So, which side of the river are the barbarians on? They're on this side. Let's stop here because we don't want to get too much closer. Because we don't want them to come out and shoot us. Alright, we still have eight orders. We have another event, by the way. Time to choose the next ambition. Five promotions. Control, uh... Ten specialists. Or found a religion. Here's the problem. I need two acolytes and then I can get this. So the acolytes are going to come from building a specialist here. Now, does the citizen include this? I assume two citizens, one of them's going into the miner. Do we want a religion? I mean, honestly, kind of. Kind of, yes. Five promotions is super easy. All we need to do is just spend the ridiculous amount of training rate. Now, these guys hate us, and by doing this, they're gonna like us. And then this one's 10 specialists. Nah, that's gonna take too long. I'll do the five promotions. It's easy. It really is gonna be easy. Speaking of which, we can promote you for 27. Now, none of our previous ones actually come into play. Horsebane, Shieldbearer. Oh, let's... Engineer or Extra Strength. Just do Combat 3, man. All right, that's one of five. Cool. All right, what else do we got? Let's look at Builders first. Cool, so we got our Granary. We still can't expand over here yet. Nope. Okay. We have the money, though, so we're going to be able to do that here in the future without any issues. Uh, a farm here would actually be a great idea as well. Yeah, because it gives us the adjacency bonus. Then who else is open and available? Scout. 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 All right, we'll scout with the goodie head, then. Star charts. Our explorers discover a cache of yellowed star charts in the ruins. The former inhabitants must have been a tribe of great navigators. Who should receive them? Our scouts gain extra five orders, or we get a great scientist. Give me a great scientist. Yes, please. So the great scientist is a person in our court who can help tutor. I think you can use them for other things as well, but who are you? The scientist. She's 25. She, as a governor, gives our minds 50% output. Heck yeah. Okay, so we really want to get a governor here in Athens. We can't do it yet because we need a garrison stronghold or citadel. So once we get the garrison tech, we will be able to do that. And we're probably going to want to put her here for the extra mine output. Actually, no, 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 no. We'd want her up here in Sparta. Yeah. Now, are they both tutoring at the same time? Does it help having multiple tutors? I have no idea. He's a builder. You're a scholar. Also, plus three wisdom, extra science. Right? Maybe? Is that only as a leader? Yep. So as a governor, the city gets action 90%. If she was a chancellor, we would get a global 16. If she was a leader or a consort, what the freaking heck is consort? I have no idea. Consort, like someone I'm married to, perhaps? Is my wife died? <laughs> I'll totally marry her real quick. Now my wife's alive. All right, well, whatever. Let's end the year. This was an okay year, despite the fact that probably gonna die yeah there we go we died we met the passing with hushed voice and heavy hearts prepare the way for king alexander the new the new heir to the throne of greece long live king alexander the new so do we drop to 30 
So we got 20. Okay. We got 20 from King Philip legitimacy. And then we got 10 because we finished one ambition. He doesn't have any from himself and no events yet. So that actually reduced our orders, which actually sucks. And then probably our happiness with people as well. Yeah. Yeah, that actually is exactly what happened. Okay. Well, let's go beat up some barbarians here. So that took a total of seven just to double hit him. That's kind of sucky, but it is what it is. What XP? He's at 50, so he's almost halfway. How old is he? 36. Ah, so he's got some time, man. All right, we can wait on healing you. All right, your coronation has been met with a wave of patriotic fever as subjects from across the nation seek to serve the new leader. How should we harness? We can organize the labor corps to improve the land, which gives us extra money. We become prosperous. So as a governor, we'd get extra gold and we'd gain a worker Eh. train the army extra courage. We get extra uh, military training stuff. We become fierce, which gives us a bonus against infantry or we can engage the artisans move to our capital, which gives us wisdom, which is extra science. Also more crit chance uh, extra culture in Athens and one citizen. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Let's do that. Excellent student. Nikus has excelled in tactics and training. Nice, 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 nice. So we can do tactics, one reveal range, or commander. Do commander. And then we get an ambition. Oh, wait. We get another ambition? Or does that replace this one? Huh. I have no idea what this is. Epic's a lot. Okay, we'll found a religion. Okay, so we have two at once then. So is that ambition still for Philip? Like, do we get any bonus for completing it, I wonder? I don't know. I would assume so. So eight years on our wonder. Athens is now at a population of three, which is great. After the minor, we're going to definitely start building maybe some farmers or something like that. We're actually losing wood. <sighs> that sucks. Immigrants. Rabble of barbarian refugees is settled outside the gates of Athens. They request our aid. All right. Four now. <laughs> well, it's a lot of people. That is a lot of people. What can I say? Quarry. Sounds good. Keep making me the crap, dude. Uh, military unit is just this guy. We only have one action left. I think... I think we're going to move you down here. And this is good. How have we still only met one player? Is there only two of us? Also, can we see real quick? He's at six. Because he has six cities. So he has two more cities than us. But he has no legendary and no wonders. Okay. So all the wonders are still available then. So you ended up attacking that guy. We actually got hit with the second guy. My wife is now ill. Wait, my actual wife? Yes, my actual wife. All right. Um. So they just spawned out a whole bunch of more guys. Let's launch offensive. Reduce the cooldown the closest five units and give one order for each one. Huh. Interesting. So you can actually do multiple attacks. Range units would come really in handy here. I think we have to attack. Oh, those are skirmishers. Yeah, but they have so much more damage. That guy actually hurts us when we attack him for some reason. Not quite sure. I'd love to kill that guy. All right, let's just keep spreading things around. Can I promote you? I can't promote you because I just attacked. Well, that actually really sucks, by the way. <laughs> Slinger's three years away. Can we get you up here? We can. It's going to take a minute. Do I need to? I mean, he is my strongest unit by far, even if you are hurt. Dear father, we've received an update from your daughter in training. Her skills in commerce have improved. However, funds are needed. Uh, no. Funds will be sent immediately. We got money. You're fine. All right. So we still got some points here to spend. 
we can now uh, camp. If we go here, this gives us extra orders. I think that alone is worth it. Yeah, that alone is worth it. And I'm still more interested in moving you. We end up doing next turn. I think we do Hippodrome. Problem is, we might just want to save you. And I think I am. I think I just want to save you to get to the harbor. So for now, let's just move you into the capital. And we're going to just get ready to build the harbor here in the next couple turns. Okay. End year. Alexander, do not die. That hurt. That's still fine. Marriage offered. The court surprise and marriage proposal has arrived from the Scythians. Princess Diama from the Scythia. My daughter is going to marry the Scythian. My daughter's only 18. But we lose legitimacy. Nah, I'm going to say no. I'm not going to marry the Scythians. All right, so this will kill the raider, which I think is worth doing. And then we kill you as well. And we're looking pretty strong at this point. Can I come back and do some damage here? Probably, but I don't think I want to. I think I'd rather go heal. And then next turn, maybe go back. All right, who else do we have? Choose production, Thebes. Uh, we also have choose production here in our capital. Uh, capital... This is giving us science. We want acolytes, that's right. Yep, 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 yep. And then this gives us poet. We're just gonna build two acolytes. Oh, it's a legacy one. Okay. So she completed her study of commerce. How should she contribute to the court? So order can serve as governor or ambassador. Gives us less global money because of our discipline, but extra civics. This one's general or spy master, which is less training, which honestly we could totally get rid of, and then extra wisdom. Now, wasn't she. And she's making me the money. Which seems really stupid that they wouldn't offer a gov- Like, this is the governor one, and the governor, she's gonna lose discipline. Yeah, she would lose all of her discipline then. So she'll have four charisma and no discipline. Now, this is our heir. I really don't want to lose courage on our heir, though. Use the legitimacy to see- So as the leader, to buy orders. Scout's always hidden. And then she can adopt child? Eh. Can raise improvements. I'm gonna make her an order. And the thing is, there goes... She gets charisma now. She loses all the money, but... That sucks, dude. It sucks because essentially it was wasted. Okay, so we can do a quarry here for another plus 10, or we can do a mine for plus 5. Another quarry it is. Just keep making me all the stone. I really need a lumber mill, though. Just throwing that out there. I don't need a quarry over here. I think let's go grab the camp or the horsies. Let's go for the horsies. It actually gives you a free order. Huh, interesting. So you can use an order to get a free order? <laughs> Apparently. Thebes also needs production. Uh, let's go festival here, I think. Now that we got our builder. We could do console as well, but dinosaur bones. Quarry workers have asked the court to send scientists to the disputed site. They want someone of authority to inspect the giant bones to determine their origin. So how shall we respond? Requires freedom, requires drama, and a quarry finished. So... Hold up. Let's go back and gain some orders, please. There we go. Okay, let's try this now. Gain a stone cutter in Sparta. legitimacy he becomes extravagant which he loses money as a governor which i don't really care but he gains extra legitimacy but it's only two five orders and ten stone 
I mean, I kind of want to get the science, to be honest. Like, that's two and a half turns. That would finish navigation for us. You know what? Let's just go back here. What are, what are we doing right now? Yeah, we don't need to worry about you. Let's go back into the kill. Okay, we should always be doing this first, and I kind of screwed this up. So yeah, go back to order. Sounds good. And then I'm going to actually transport to the city, which is going to require three orders, but that gives us now new research. Barracks. Don't we need barracks to upgrade? Was it barracks? To... No, governor. That's what I'm looking for. Garrison, not barracks. Okay. Hmm. So do we want just a boost of food? Nah, that doesn't matter. Barracks lead to just extra XP. This is tyranny or constitution, which we can afford, or phalanx. Oh, we'll do sovereignty. Yeah, we'll do sovereignty. So this is what we can now do. We can now go in here and build a harbor, which is going to give us an extra 10 gold. Negative two for shit, uh, for trees, but I think we're still okay with that. Give me the harbor. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. I think I'd rather have done the harbor. And then you guys are just going to all idle. So I think I like how this turn went a little bit better. And then next turn, you're going to go ahead and build the mine. Actually, you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's move you inside the city. And then next turn, we can heal with you. Cool. All right, production in Athens. We need the Acolyte. Thank you. Production in Thebes. We can now do biremes. Ooh. Oh, so even if it's not right on the coast, it can still produce ships. Interesting. So it requires 50 trees and 50 iron. I'm going to do it. I mean, our trees are in a really bad spot, FYI, but this will be okay. Also, our iron's in a really bad spot, too, but <laughs> we want to see what the ships do. Okay, so you're coming after Alex. Family friend paid visit to Duke Nicholas School and sends a glowing report about the heir's progress. He appears happy and healthy, excited to return home. Send him a gift, gain some extra XP, or he gets one extra charisma, which is plus one production. He's second in line. So... I think uh, having him level up doesn't really matter. Let's just get one extra civic. So you're going to come here and then attack. And then you're going to kill off these guys. And we have gained a level. So wisdom gives us extra science. And, or extra crit rate. Equestrian gives some extra XP for mounted units, which we've literally stopped. Or fatigue limit plus two, which means he can just move a lot more. I actually kind of like Hardy, dude. But man... I think it's only one extra science... Or no, it's plus two per wisdom, so it's an extra two science. So we'd go from 33 to 35. I'm going to make him hardy. Yeah, I like that. And we want it. We got to finish these promotions at some point, too. We have so much training, right? There's no reason not to do it. Speaking of which, why not just promote? The slinger is a range unit. Ah, hi, hi, hi. So he can attack from, I think, two. Yeah, range of two. We'll go ahead and promote him right away. Swift and Hardy. Hardy. That's what we just saw, which allows them to move a little further. I kind of like that. But let's do guard just because you're going to be in an interesting spot. And we're going to finish that ambition here before too long. All right, so we still got a worker. That was what we ended up doing last turn. We ended up going up here and building a camp. So we ended up undoing that. Actually, would the sheep been better? No, 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 no. We screwed this up. We actually wanted to go the horse, but let's do this first. Uh, he spent the last several years becoming a useful member. This is a second in line again, right? Yeah. So we want to give him extra discipline. So he had actually a couple things. One of our most prosperous neighbors has become a whole new burgeoning intellectual movement. Many of the capital's most talented young figures emerge from this arena. Whom should we bring to court? We can't afford any of them. Uh, unless... We sell some stone. And now. Oh, here we go. 
This colonization or serfdom. I don't want that one. I don't want that one. I want this one. Wait, what was this one? A mercenary band of chariots requires husbandry. So we can actually get a chariot. Uh, not right now. Sorry. I, I can't. I don't want. I mean, it would be nice, but no. I'd rather have one of these. So give me a minister or a philosopher. We already have a scientist. We already have a minister, too. So maybe it's not worth it then. Now, I think I will grab another scientist because I would like. Plus two per culture level. Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. Or here we go, colonization or serfdom. So I wanna take a look here at our law screen. So serfdom allows our farms to give extra output or we can buy tiles, upkeep, load training. What's load training mean? Negative one per city. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll colonization. Yes. Should we have saved that for our religion? Perhaps, but I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay doing this. We still need to get another citizen. This one's gonna take 10 years. It's gonna take a minute. I think it's the whole point here. So colonization then is gonna allow me to buy tiles that are slightly out, which you are no longer slightly out, by the way. What is this? Hills, trees? Huh, okay, it looks different. So like we can buy the farm, we could buy the... Uh, whatever, actually. <laughs> There's nothing that I can see right now that we need. But anyway, so let's go ahead and grab the pasture because I need the extra orders. Uh, speaking of which, are we working on the elephants too? I would like to be working on the elephants, yes, because I need these extra orders. Then you're going to come here and grab me the quarry. And then that's all my orders. No, we still have one more. All right, who's left? Also, we still have another decision. Decision no longer valid. Oh, that was the one yeah, we were just looking at. Okay, so guy, guy, scout, scout, scout. Okay, well, let's scoot with you. And we'll kind of just hang out over here. Okay, that was a busy year, man. We also need to wrap this episode up. So let's go kill these guys, and then we'll wrap this up. Oh, my God. You learn via your wife that Duke Nicholas carries your unborn grandchild. It was not a planned pregnancy. As a ruler, matters of bloodline legitimacy, let's go through you. There will be no baby without marriage. He will hate me, and he will lose charisma. You and the child are no longer my bly, my bl uh, so he will really hate us. Or the baby will live, but at my whim. We don't have enough discipline for this. Eh. Eh. I'm just gonna say he's no longer my blood, so he slightly hates us, whatever. I think it's better than losing hammers. Although, what are we getting from him right now? We're getting one hammer, we're getting 12 gold and three. Nah. Nah. We will take the negative two hammers, because I think if I estrange him, then we will no longer be making uh, the extra 12 gold. Also, how did our gold get so bad so quick? Dang, dude. Hmm. Not quite sure. All right. Uh, this is Alexander, right? Wait, wait, wait. Sorry. This is Alexander, right? Yes. Attack. And kill. Good. Okay, so this city site is now cleared. We need settlers. Yes, we do. What are we doing, Brian? I have no idea. We're not building settlers. That's kind of a bad on my part. But for now, let's wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, comment, and let me know what you think. As always, hit the subscribe button, join the game, come share your support. I'll see you guys later. Bye, everyone.